Hi everyone, welcome to my today's video. Today, let's get an understanding of how to value your inventory using the LIFO method. Already, I did a video how to do your valuation using the FIFO method. So, this video is about how to do your inventory valuation using the LIFO method. So, first I will explain how to get the value of the inventory using the LIFO method and I am going to use the store ledger. After that, I will show you a shortcut method to arrive at the answer. So, in LIFO method, what you have to simply understand a simple question that you should ask when you are issuing some inventory. The question that you should ask from yourself, what is the materials that I received last? Lie for. Last in, first out. Whatever the materials that you received last is the material that you will issue first. So, what is the material that I received last? So let's get that understanding. So what's the question that you should ask from yourself? Before making an issuance, you have to ask the question, what's the material that I received last? Opening 100 units are there, each unit at a price of $2. So it is 1st February. Opening balances directly, you can take it under the balance column. So 100 units, each unit at a price of $2. So it is $200. And 5th February, you are purchasing 200 units, each unit at a price of $2.4. So, what's the total cost for you? 200 units, $2.4. So, the total cost is $480. So, before purchasing these 200 units, already you had 100 units. With this new 200 units, your number of units will go up to 300. Before this purchase, you had inventory which has a value of 200. Now you purchase which has a value of 480. So now your new value is how much? It is 680. So how did you get that 680? 200 plus 480. Okay. Now next one is the third one. 12th February, there is an issuance of 180 units. Now you have to ask the question. What is the material that I received last? You are going to make an issuance. So what's the material that you received last? Is it $2.4 worth material or $2 worth material? Last you received the $2.4 worth material. So you have to make the issuance from the $2.4 worth materials. How many units? You have to issue 180 units. You have to issue 180 units. Each unit at $2.4. So, 180 units into $2.4, you are getting a value of $432. Then, from your 300 units, you are issuing 180 units. Then, balance will be only 120 units. From 680 worth materials, you are issuing 432 worth materials. So, what's the balance will be 680 minus 432, I am getting a balance of 248. So, after the issuance in my warehouse, 120 units are there. What's the value of that 120 units? It is $248. That is done. Next one. 23rd February, you are purchasing 150 units. So, whatever the purchase should be recorded in the purchase column, whatever the issuance should be recorded in the issue column. So, 150 units, each unit at a price of $3, then your total cost is $450. Before the purchase, you had 120 units, now you are purchasing new 150. So, all together, how many units will be there? 270 units. Before the purchase, value of the inventory was 248. Now, you are purchasing 450 worth materials, 248 plus 450, how much is the value that you are getting? It is $698. So, here 248 plus 450. Next one. Now, you are going to issue how many units? 27th February, you are going to issue 50 units. You are going to issue 50 units. So, what's the question that you should ask from yourself? 
what's the material that i received last so what's the material that i received last it is three dollar worth material so that 50 units you will have to issue from that three dollar worth materials so one unit three dollar fifty units one hundred and fifty dollars you had 270 units from that 50 units you issued so balance will be how much only 220 units your value of the inventory before the issuance 698 now you issued 150 worth materials so what's the balance 698 minus 150 you are getting a balance of 548 dollars so end of the period how many units are there in your warehouse 220 units are there what's the value of that 220 units it is 548 dollars so end of the period what's the value of your inventory 548 now this is how you have to do the calculation using the store ledger now let me show you a shortcut method to get this answer but you got to be little focused when you are doing the calculation so what's the material that you receive first two dollar worth materials the materials that you receive first it is two dollar worth materials it is two dollar worth materials so if you take this two dollar worth materials how many units you are getting 100 units okay so in that two dollar worth material basket there are 100 units then what's happening you are purchasing 2.4 dollar worth material so that's a new basket we'll assume like that in that basket how many units will be there 200 units will be there 200 units now you are making an issuance of 180 units so you will issue from which basket you will issue from the 2.4 dollar worth basket why is that that is the material that you purchased last so you will issue that 180 units from this basket so once you issue 180 units what's the balance number of units in that basket only 20 units out of 200 you issued 180 next one this is done this is done this is done and you are purchasing another basket three dollar worth material basket in that basket how many units are there now 150 units are there that is also done and out of that what you are doing you are issuing 50 units so when you are making an issuance you will issue whatever the materials that you received last so what's the material that you received last three dollar worth basket so you will issue that materials from this three dollar worth basket so what's the balance in the three dollar worth basket there are only hundred units there are only hundred units so in your two dollar worth material basket hundred units are there each unit two dollars it is two hundred dollars your two point four dollar worth material basket has twenty units so what's the value you have for that basket it is forty eight dollars your three dollar worth material basket you have only 100 units so 100 into 3 it is 300 dollars so end of the period you have 100 plus 20 plus 100 in total how many units 220 units two dollar worth material 100 units 2.4 dollar worth material 20 units three dollar worth material 100 units so you have 220 units what's the value of that 220 units 200 plus 48 plus 300 how much is that 248 plus 300 it is 548 dollars so here see both the answers 548 548 both the answers are same so this is how you can do a LIFO calculation using the store ledger and using my shortcut method. If you are using the shortcut method, only thing that you have to remember, what is that? You got to be little focused when you are issuing the materials. So in LIFO method, what's the question that you should ask always from yourself before making an issuance? What is the material that I received last? So that material only you will issue. Another one more thing I want to tell this shortcut method you can use if you have only MCQ type questions. If you have a big question to show the workings and all, you can't use it because you have to show the working using the store ledger. So this is how you can do a calculation for LIFO. So I hope you got a very good understanding of how to get the answers for LIFO in an easy way. So like this, I have done some accounting videos. Whatever the courses that I have done, you can check those courses. I have included all the details in the description. So you can check it. If you want, you can purchase because I have done all the courses for very reasonable prices. I have done courses for like 
Cambridge, Edexcel, ACCA, CIMA and certain other qualifications. So you can check the description if you are expecting to purchase my courses. So we'll meet again with my next video. Then see you there.